Here are a few things to get you started with Super Collider. Super Collider is designed as a real-time environment, so bits of code can be evaluated on the fly. To evaluate code, you use command return. If you're evaluating a single line of code, just place your cursor anywhere on that line and hit command return. If you'd like to evaluate more than one line of code, then you just highlight whatever you want to evaluate and again press command return. You can also use parentheses to declare a scope of code to evaluate. The parentheses work sim similar to evaluating a single line. Your cursor can be anywhere within the parentheses and when you press command period, everything within the parentheses is, is evaluated. The semicolon delineates the end of one statement and the beginning of another. You can see in this example when I try to evaluate it, it throws an error. That's because the first statement is missing a semicolon. If I put a semicolon after the first statement, Super Collider realizes that these are two statements and it evaluates them fine. A lot of uh, type typos are missing semicolons. So just pay attention to including semicolons at the end of each statement. In most cases, uh, spaces are not taken into account in Super Collider. For example, this line has a few extra spaces, but Super Collider evaluates the line just as if the spaces weren't there. The Super Collider IDE, the environment I'm typing in right now, will wrap your text and wrap text, but wrap text is treated as still as a single line. As you've already seen, the post line or post ln command, post items in the post window and you use this particular syntax where you have an item and then you go dot post ln semicolon of course and then it posts it right to the post window. Post ln posts the item and then adds a new line. That's what the ln is about, a hard return. But the post command without the ln does not add a new line. Uh, so you can, as in this example, so you can add uh, comments, add posts, one after the other on the same line. Commenting in the Super Collider uh, SE Lang or the server side, the client side environment is done with uh, two forward slashes, just like in many programming environments. Uh, if you want to um, comment out an entire paragraph or multiple lines, use slash asterisk and then asterisk slash notation a slash and asterisk to begin the comment and then the asterisk slash to end the comment. We've already discussed the post window. You can post things there. That helps with debugging and uh, seeing if things uh, work or getting messages from your uh, code. The post window will also display errors as we've already seen. The Super Collider environment uh, consists of a server and a client the server handles all the audio processing and the client is a programming environment. So uh, in order to make sound you have to boot the server and you can do this with a command B, the keyboard combination, or you can evaluate the, this line s.boot and you can also reboot a server with s.reboot. There's a number of other commands to boot the server and you can see all this in the server dot the server document server dot help the help document for the server now to stop sound and this is pretty important use command period so if something goes crazy and it gets really loud you should have command period ready if you want to completely restart everything uh, you do what we call recompile the server and there's a keyboard shortcut for that, which is Command Shift L. The help system in Super Collider is pretty good. Uh, to access that, you use Command D, and then you get a help window. If there's a particular item you want to look into, you highlight the word, and if it's in the, if there's a reference to it in the help system, uh, it, when you press Command D, it should bring up that particular document for that item. And there's examples here. It tells you about the item that you were looking into, pretty detailed. And also you can evaluate code directly from the help files or the examples in the help files.
for example, uh, this slide here. And I've included a couple useful server utilities here. You can make a little GUI for the server by using uh, s.makeWindow command. The GUI has a volume control, it has a, a button that quits and reboots the server, and it has a button for doing a quick recording. With the s.meter command, you can bring up a little audio meter that will visualize both ins and outs. And then finally you have a freak scope uh, command which shows you a waveform visualization. So hopefully that is enough to get you started with SuperCollider and happy SuperCliding.